Hi, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create these concert tickets using nothing but Microsoft Word in a browser. I have had a number of requests on my YouTube channel of how to create concert tickets and I do have a number of videos I also manage and monitor the chat line. Um, on the videos I have everything from making chalkboard flyers to bifold pamphlets, um, ticket invitations for sporting events, uh, but more importantly, I have a video called Searching Stonts and Falling, Installing Fonts and Using Symbols right here. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Uh, I am using unique fonts here, so you will need to know how to do this. Um, also, please, if you would subscribe to my channel and or like any all of my videos, that would be fantastic. If you find a advertisement that's useful and you could find information about it, please feel free to click on that advertisement. That would be fantastic. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead. <clears throat> and get started. Um, so these are sort of two examples of creating uh, concert tickets as replacements for the actual tickets if they're electronic tickets. So for instance, if you're giving a ticket as a birthday present or a Christmas present or a Hanukkah present or um, for an auction or raffle ticket winner, um, you can go ahead and use this outline. Obviously, um, not everyone's gonna be going to Taylor Swift, so you can take this video and make any changes to the designs as well as to the colors and or to the images. So um, this can be used to create concert tickets for any concert that you're going to. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and do File, New, Blank Document. Um, Originally when I created this, uh, my son was going with four of his friends, so I changed this to landscape. Um, it's kind of what I'm used to, what I created this for, so go ahead and change this to landscape. Also, also if you want to create more than one, uh, landscape would be a good way to go. Um, also, I changed the margins to narrow. It just gives you a little more real estate to work with. I kind of do this by default for all of my videos. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and click Insert Shapes, and we want to insert our rectangle. And just go ahead and click anywhere inside of um, your document. Next thing we want to do is ensure format is selected, and we want to go up here and change this to 5.5 and 2.5. Um, I actually did some research online and find most concert tickets are this size. Also, there are a number of envelopes that fit this size of um, paper and or ticket size. So that's what I went ahead and used, but you can obviously make any changes to this. You want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of black. Okay, this is going to be the basic basis of our concert ticket. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create this kind of upper part for the section row and seat. So let's go ahead and click on insert shape rectangle and we go and click anywhere inside there. And what we want to do is make this 0.35 and make this two point, oopsies, two point huh, four nine. Two point four nine. Come on. Um, two point four nine. Let's do a numlock. There we go. Sorry, my numlock was not working. <laughs> two point four nine. There we go. And we want to go ahead and move this up here. And if we want to center this just right, you can um, see that this is selected because it has the little squares around it. And you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move that around. And what we want to do is we want to do a shape fill of black. And you can keep the shape outline of black, or you can do no outline. It's up to you. And then we want to insert a text box. And we want to draw a text box. And we want to draw it kind of right above there. And we want to do a format, and we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline, because we already sort of have that outline, right? And we want to right here, actually before we go ahead and do that, we want to click on home and we want to do the color of white so we can actually see what we're writing. And we want to write section, and we want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 um, spaces, and we want to write row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we want to do seats, all in uppercase. And then we want to center this. Okay. And again, you can add more spaces, less spaces. Really, it's kind of up to you and how you want this to look. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to this black box up here. We want to right click, do a copy, 
and we want to ensure that that is not selected, you want to click outside and then you want to do a paste. Okay. If you have the object still selected, again you know it's selected because you see these little boxes, and you do a paste, a lot of times it's just going to paste it right over it, so you want to ensure that it's not selected when you do the paste. Then we want to do a format, and we want to do a shape fill, and we want to go to more colors, and I used this purple right here, but you can you know, use whatever color you want. And I do a shape outline of no outline for this one. Next thing you want to do is click on the text box, and you want to right click and do a copy, and then you want to go ahead and do a paste. And you want to move this down, and what we want to do is we want to, instead of section, you want to put whatever section you want, FLR12 row 31, seat 4. And we want to highlight this and we want to make this 12 point font and we want to make that bold. And then obviously you're going to want to add some spaces um, in between here and then you want to kind of center this however you want to center it and make it look just right. Now what we want to do is we want to get that Taylor Swift logo. So I like to use Google. If you like to use Yahoo or Bing, whatever you want, feel free. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type in Taylor Swift tickets, black and white logo PNG. And you might have to do some searching to figure out what um, you to figure out an exact one that you want. And we want to go ahead and click on images. Um, and if we go down here, uh, let's try tickets, there we go. And if we go down here, um, let's see, they're not down there. Let's go ahead and click on this one, and then let's go ahead and click on related images. Oh, let's click on view more. And then if we go down here, and what I'm looking for is that um, Taylor Swift ticks right here. And I think we have to click on view more because that's a little more down. And again, you might have to do some searching to find one you like. And this is the one I like because it has the Taylor Swift ticks and plenty of room in order for me to write down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna do a save picture as. And I'm gonna go down to my videos folder and I'm going to click on concert tickets and this is spotlight. Okay. So, oh, and then last thing is the reason why I have the .png is .pngs are typically used um, um, for a lot of the images they have rather than sort of the white big backgrounds. Um, they have a transparent background, which is much easier to work with. Um, I do have a video calling working with images, which explains that a little bit more, but that's why I added that PNG in the back there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go and insert my new picture and let's go back up to desktop and let's go to video and let's go to concert tickets and let's go to spotlight. And what we want to do is we want to say in front of text and then we want to move this. And again, if you noticed here, I clicked up up here and I could move that around and then we want to make this smaller. You can make it smaller, you know the object is selected, and you can just drag and drop it. And I apologize, I went through that earlier. If you noticed here, I went to layout options and I did in front of text, you have to do that. If you don't do that, you won't be able to very easily move your image around and manipulate it. Um, so I apologize, I went through that a little fast, but you want to click there and do in front of text and then that's how you can actually very easily move the image around, okay? And then we want to make that a little bit smaller because we want plenty of room for the barcode. Okay. Now, obviously, we don't want that powered by Ticketmaster, so we want to do an insert shape, and we want to click on rectangle, and we can just click right there. And what we want to do is a shape fill of white and a shape outline of no outline. Now, we want to insert a text box, draw a text box, and we want to write cougar bridge 2018 auction winner and the date of the concert May 22nd 2018 7 o'clock p.m. Okay 
and we want to highlight this, we want to go to Home, and the first thing we want to do is go to Line Spacing Options and be sure that this is set to zero and single spaced. Okay. Next thing we want to do is um, click on um, your fonts, and I used Credit Black. Again, you'll have to download and install that font if you don't have it. And this is a 20 point font, and this is a 16 point font. Okay, the other thing I did is I went ahead and I inserted a symbol, and I went to Wingdings, and I just inserted a circle. Close. And you can just double click in order to do that. And then you can obviously make this much smaller. All right. From here, you want to go ahead and click on format of this text box and you want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And then you want to move this over. And again, and then you want to move this right there. And obviously, winner, you want to move this text box over, move this down. And then you have it. And then finally, we want to go ahead and grab that barcode so we can just type in barcode PNG. And we can go ahead and grab this one. And we want to do a save picture as concert tickets untitled. That's fine. And we could go back here and we want to do an insert picture. And let's grab our barcode. And again, we want to go to layout options because so if you try to move this around, you can't move it around. That's why you have to go here or you can right click and say wrap text and you want to say in front of text. Okay. And then you want to move this down, move this over here. And you could actually put in two of these if you wanted or you could just make this longer and you could find whatever barcode you wanted. Uh, you know what, I actually don't like that barcode. Let me find another one. I apologize about that. Um, why don't we use this barcode? This one's much longer, it's gonna look better. So let's go ahead and do a save picture as. It's the P-C-O-Y-W. Let's delete this, insert picture. This one's longer. Again, we want to do in front of text. And then we could do this. There we go. That looks better. And then finally, we want to insert text box, draw text box. And we want to write Cooper Ridge Elementary. And we want to make this 2.49. And we want to make this credit black. And we want to do a format shape fill, no fill, shape outline of no outline. And we want to go home and we want to center this. And we want to move this down here. And if we want to make this as big to stretch across, and actually I think we made this a little bit smaller. If we want to make this text box span the length of the um, uh, barcode, um, we could go ahead and click on Format, go to Text Effects, go to Transform, and click on Square, and then that will elongate that so it will make it as long as the um, barcode. And that's it. And then just another sort of example of this is if you wanted to copy and paste this, you can go ahead and click the sh um, click on the first image, click on the shift key, hold the shift key down while you click on the rest. Oops. Okay. And then you can click on Control C for copy, or you can say group, and then we can do a copy, and then we can do a paste, 
and move this over and let me um, actually let's do this I apologize so what we want to do is we want to hold down the shift key and again grab as many of these as we can there we go we wanted to be sure that we grab that um, white box okay now jeez, oh, I apologize grab the white box grab here grab here grab here And now let's do a group and then we can do a right click copy and then right click paste and then anything that we didn't grab over we can very easily just let's do an ungroup now we can very easily just grab these two copy paste there's that one and then let's move this down and it does when you have a lot of objects it does get a little tricky trying to grab all of these and you have to move some of these up there we go copy and then we can do a paste and then we can move this one over and then we can grab this one move this down and we want to um, bring to front move this over and then we can move this guy up and move this guy down okay. and then obviously we want to change this to Nicholas Paul and we want to make this a 16 point font because we have quite a bit more writing and then we want to do an enter so this might include colon and this is an 11 point font and we want to spell includes correctly <clears throat> and then we want to do a limousine ride to dinner dinner with your besties Taylor Swift concerts there we go and obviously we want to spell everything correctly move this and then once it's in there you can very easily move this to fit and there you have it and then you can print these out and you can make as many as you want um so anyhow i hope you found this video useful uh, again please like any and all of my videos i do manage the chat line so if you have any questions please feel free to ask and thank you so much for watching